The thyroid gland is a small endocrine organ that just sits in the front of the neck here, and it's very common to get nodules in the thyroid. Um, in fact, most people by the age of 60 will have at least one thyroid nodule, mm -hmm. and the vast majority of nodules are benign, which means not cancer, mm -hmm. over 95% of them. And so. what are they made up of? Well, they're, it's variable. Some are solid and some may be fluid-filled, and we call those cystic. Okay. If it's purely cystic, uh, then it's totally benign and you don't ever have to worry about it. Okay, and then also you would find um, maybe lumps on your neck. What, what kind of lumps are we looking for? Most of the time, a neck lump uh, is also going to turn out to be benign. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do uh, all sorts of imaging procedures for patients who have a newly palpable lump. Um, a lot of the times, they're mildly enlarged lymph nodes that mm -hmm. occur after, uh, for example, an upper respiratory tract infection. Any kind of inflammatory process in the head and neck can cause your lymph nodes to get a little bit enlarged. Mm -hmm. And they may stay enlarged for two or three weeks after your cold is gone. Right. Um, so it's always important to go to your doctor and have your doctor check it out mm -hmm. to see if it's a lump to worry about. But um, like I said, a lot of them are no, okay. nothing of concern. So when, when I have noticed that what you were mentioning about an upper respiratory is that you do have enlarged glands. So what's mm -hmm. the difference between having the enlarged gland and a lump? I mean, is a lump something smaller than, I mean, is it tiny or would you just notice it right away? Well, a lump is just any, anything that somebody feels. Okay. So if it's really small, like a pea size or an almond size, it's probably nothing to worry about. But okay. if it's something larger or if it's something that is getting larger over time, mm -hmm. then those are, would be a little bit more worrisome. 